Well, I have absolutely wonderful clients. And the reason they're wonderful is because they love the sea and they really know why they want a fabulous boat and what they want from a boat, a boat that is seaworthy, that is safe, that has performance. And so we have the same tastes, my clients and, and I, and we build the boat together. So it's always a lot of fun. Well, we have obviously a, a lot of important clients um, and they all have a common denominator, important or less important or political or wealthy, that they love the sea. So I don't really distinguish from one of the other, but of course, famous clients that have been seen around with their magnums are amongst others, the King of Spain, His Majesty the King of Spain, the King of Sweden, uh, many Arab clients, uh, the ruling families of Kuwait and Bahrain and Qatar, and uh, basically a lot of famous clients and unfamous clients who love the sea. We at Magnum don't want to compromise the safety and seaworthiness of the boat and the performance. So that comes before everything else. And as you probably know, um, the Magnum hull was originally a Hunt design deep V hull. Then Jim Wynn designed the first Magnum. And from that, all other Magnums came. And many other naval architects have slightly improved uh, the performance. Technology has improved the strength, uh, the stiffness of the hull, the performance. Uh, there is now less drag. Uh, there is better performance, like with the surface drive, that I think Magnum was the first company to use it in general for all our boats. The surface drive, the surface propeller, to create a boat that performs environmentally better with less fuel consumption. Uh, less drag, less noise, which is also very important. You can speak in the cockpit of your boat, even at 70 miles an hour. Uh, less exhaust fumes. And so uh, we try to build a boat, the best boat that is not only seaworthy, but with a conscience in environmental um, considerations. And then, of course, it's got to be easy to use, fun to use, and beautiful as well. So it's uh, quite a combination and quite a challenge, and we hope to build always the better boat and the best boat. Uh, luxury in boating and I'm repeating myself, is safety. For me, the most important element is if I go with my family boating from here from Miami to the Bahamas or in Europe to different islands and countries, it's to know that with my son, with my now grandchild, I'm completely safe. And no matter what happens, no matter what seas will come, I will comfortably make it home. So not only the hull is safe, but also all the systems are redundant. So if some electrical problem arises, there is a backup system. So you will always come home. Then the hull is safe because of the deep V hull. Maybe you need more power to go faster, but that's really not important. It's important to be safe. And maybe that's a feminine way of looking at boating, but I think luxury is that it's safe, that it's, the boat is easy to use. I don't like lots of gadgets that can go wrong. It always has to work, it has to be comfortable, and the comfortable ride is luxury as well. I don't know, I love to go to sea. I love to be out on the boat. And another thing that my clients have in common with me, you know, is just the fact of throwing the lines and leaving the docks 
you have this peace and this sensation of adventure. Uh, and you leave any kind of worries and problems behind. And off you go. And then there's the adventure, be it uh, the diving for conch and making your lunch with the conch salad, be it going to Saint-Tropez or to Sardinia. I mean, it's the sense of adventure, the sense of fun, and the leaving anything and all the problems behind. So navigation certainly would be a great part of my life. Thank you.